Hello everyone, my name is Aarti and you are watching HW News. The troubles of the Adani group do not seem to end anytime soon. The group is already facing questions and backlash over 3000 kilograms of heroin seized at Mundra port. At HW News, we also have spoken about the story, although we have presented a different perspective to it. Please do watch the video and tell us what you think about it. Moving on, the Adani group has found itself dealing with another problem now. And this involves the Supreme Court of India. Yes, more than a decade-old dispute between the Adani Group company and Gujarat Urja Vikas Nigam is back to haunt him. A five-judge bench of the Supreme Court, headed by CJI N.V. Ramana, recently issued a notice on the curative petition filed by the Gujarat Urja Vikas Nigam Limited. Interestingly, the curative petition was filed by the GUVNL in 2019 after a Supreme Court order ruled in favour of Adani Group company. The Supreme Court bench at that time was headed by retired Justice Arun Mishra. However, issuing notice on the curative petition, the bench headed by CJ Ramana noted that the plea raises significant questions of law. You won't find these stories in the mainstream media, but we at HW News strive to bring you stories that others avoid mentioning. Because we believe these developments impact people at large in one way or the other. But to continue bringing you stories like this, we require your support. When you support us, you enable us to continue talking about the stories others would rather maintain silence on. How can you support us? Go to our website support page. You will find out details about the subscription plans. These plans also come with certain benefits. Select the plan that you like and support us. Now coming back to today's topic. The Supreme Court recently issued a notice in the curative petition filed by Gujarat Urja Vikas Nigam Limited in 2019. It had filed a curative petition against the Supreme Court's 2019 judgment that upheld termination of the power purchase agreement by Adani Par. The bench observed, in prima facie opinion, there are substantial questions of law raised in the curative petition which require consideration. The bench comprised Justices UU Lalit, A.M. Khanvilkar, B.R. Gavai and Surya Kant besides CGI and V. Ramana. It directed the registry to list the matter in an open court on 30th of September 2021. Now, apart from Adani Power Mundra, notices have also gone to Gujarat Electricity Regulatory Commission and an NGO, Consumer Education and Research Society. Now, such cases of industrial disputes are not new for the judiciary. Then why are we talking about it? I'll explain this at the end of this video, so please watch this video till the end. Let us first talk about what exactly this dispute is. In 2007, Adani Power Mundra Limited signed a PPA that is Power Purchase Agreement with GUVNL under which it promised supply of 1000 megawatt power at 2 rupees 35 paise per unit from its power project situated in Korba in Chhattisgarh. Now Gujarat Mineral Development Corporation had agreed to supply 4 million tons of coal a year to Adani Par by developing the Naini coal block. Later on, however, another PPA was signed after Adani said he would not supply power from Mundra port in Gujarat instead of Korba since GMDC was lagging in coal production. According to Adani, it was the understanding between the parties that the supply of power to GUVNL was conditional on a coal supply by GMDC. Adani also deposited the amount of 25 crore rupees as liquidated damages. Now, challenging this termination, GUVNL approached the Gujarat State Electricity Regulatory Commission. The commission also held the termination to be illegal. The commission found that the terms of the PPA permitted termination only if both the parties were in agreement that default had occurred. This finding was upheld by the appellate tribunal as well. So, the Adani group of companies moved to Supreme Court against this order. Let us now talk about the 2019 Supreme Court judgment. The matter went on in the court for almost nine years and in 2019, a bench led by retired Justice Arun Mishra reversed the GERC and appellate tribunal decisions. Not only that, it also allowed the Adani group to seek a compensatory rate for the electricity it had alternatively supplied to Gujarat from its Korba power project in Chhattisgarh. Now, the Central Electricity Regulatory Commission was also told to fix the compensatory rate for Adani Power within three months from the date the latter approaches it. Subsequently, GUVNL was then asked to make the payment to Adani within three months of CERC's decision. 
A review petition was also filed by the state authority against the verdict in 2019 itself, but the court dismissed it. Following the dismissal, the Nigam filed a curative petition, which is the last legal remedy. However, the petition was admitted only on 30th of January 2020 and was heard a few days ago in 2021. Justice Mishra retired in September last year. Now let us talk about why there is so much of a controversy over the case. The case, while seemingly similar to any other industrial dispute, had curtailed major controversy back in 2019. After the verdict in the case by Justice Mishra, former President of the Bar Council of India and Senior Advocate Dushan Dave had written a searing letter to the then CGI Ranjan Gogoi and all the judges of the Supreme Court. The letter questioned the way the matters were being listed before particular bench. The letter questioned the constitution of benches during the 2019 summer vacations led by senior judges including the CGI himself. In the letter, Dushan Dave had also pointed to the systematic assignment of matters to particular benches which also include the listing of the Adani Par Mudra Limited's appeal before Justice Mishra's court. According to Dushan Dave, it was a departure from the norms which were set out in the circulars on the listing of urgent cases. He alleged that this case and another one with high commercial stake for the Adani group were irregularly listed before a particular bench in violation of the Supreme Court's practice and procedure. According to the seven-page letter, the case was last heard in 2017 and thereafter, it surprisingly wasn't allocated to anyone until 2019 when the bench of Justice Mishra took the case up against the prescribed norms of the Supreme Court. He also mentioned how the hearing took place despite other party that is GUVNL's objection. Adani group, however, had then denied the allegations, terming the senior lawyer's views as unfortunate, misconceived and malicious. Now, let us talk about why this case is so significant. To understand this, we also have to talk about curative petition. A curative petition is the last constitutional resort available for redressal of grievances in court after a review plea is dismissed or it has been exhausted. The concept of curative petition originated in 2002. The concept was evolved by the Apex Court to prevent the miscarriage of justice and to prevent any abuse of the process. A curative petition can be allowed if the petitioner establishes there was a violation of the principles of natural justice and there were some facts that were brought to the notice of the court but were ignored by it before passing an order. Last year, a convict in the Nirbhaya gang rape case had filed a curative petition before the Supreme Court but the court in fact had rejected it. This case, however, was taken up by the court, saying that it raised certain important questions of law. Also, note the fact that a curative petition is normally decided by judges in chamber. It is very rare that they are heard in an open court. Only in exceptional cases it happens. Now, the bench led by CJ and V. Ramana has in fact listed the matter on 30th of September, as I told you at the beginning of this video, to be heard in an open court. So, does that mean the Supreme Court found merit in the argument of senior advocate Dushan Dave? Were certain cases being allotted to certain benches in this period? And if yes, why? If there is any merit in this argument, it will put a big question mark on all the sensitive cases considered by the court in this period. Some of these cases were also politically very sensitive. However, we have to wait until the 30th of September to find out these answers when the court will take this case up. Do let us know what you think about this in the comment box below. For more news and updates, you can log on to www.hwnews.in.